Once again, we're ready for a start. They're off in the Kentucky Derby. And summer is tomorrow. Had a great start and goes immediately to the early lead. Messier is away running with speed. Crown Pride to the outside. Epicenter is going to be taken back a bit. Down toward the inside as Tapa goes up outside of Chargent. And farther out and close to the pace is Cyberknife. Then comes on the outside Zozos as they race by us for the first time. It will be summer is tomorrow to lead the way. Brown Pride on the outside second. Messier follows in third. Zozos fourth. Cyberknife is fifth to the outside. And then it's Tapa. Charge it behind them. Epicenter finds himself in mid-pack here. Pioneer Medina. Smile happy next. And then Zandon to the inside and wide of Mario. Last at Causeway is after that. They're followed by Tawny Port. As they head to the back stretch, simplification is next. Then comes Tiz the Bomb, Rich Strike, Modonagal to the inside, and then the two trailers up the back stretcher, Barber Road and Happy Jack. That opening half mile was whoa, blazing fast. 45.36 seconds for Summer is Tomorrow, who heads up the back stretch in front with Japan's Crown Pride right alongside. And Messier goes up in between those two. The pace continues to be hot. Zozos is next after three quarters in one minute, 10 and four foot seconds. And now Epicenter comes splitting horses and is moving up quickly as Crown Pride takes the lead around the far turn. It is Crown Pride battling with Messier. They're stride for stride. Epicenter and Zozos in behind them. Cyberdex sweeps up on the outside. Sandon gets the rail run and they're into the stretch. And it's Messier, Crown Pride, and Epicenter is coming up on the outside. Epicenter has taken the lead as they arrive into the final furlong. Sandon is coming after him. Epicenter and Sandon, these two, stride for stride. Simplification down the outside is next. They're coming down to the wire. Epicenter, Sandon, rich strike is coming up on the inside. Oh my goodness, the longest shot has won the Kentucky Derby. Rich Strike has done it in a stunning, unbelievable upset. And they're off in the Kentucky Derby. And it's joining the dancers racing for the lead. Musket Man has some early speed on the inside. Here's Regal Ransom with some speed as well. Beneath the twin spires the first time. Regal Ransom and Join of the Dance will vie for the early lead. Pioneer of the Nile is right up there. And that's Papa Clem down toward the inside. He's now fourth. There's a party. Forwardly placed fifth on the outside. Flying Private is sixth. Freeze and fire in and among horses is now seventh. Musket Man is eighth. Dunkirk is ninth on the outside. Then farther back down on the rail, that is uh, Atomic Rain, uh, running in the 11th position, two lengths back, and General Quarters is now 12th, nowhere to hide, is 13th on the outside. West side, Bernie is now, now down toward the rail, and then on the outside, at the back of the pack, beginning to move up now, is uh, Hold Me Back. Advice is also right there toward the back of the pack, along with Chocolate Candy Summerbird. Advice, the last of them all, is Mr. Hot Stuff. So down the back stretch run, or even be fine, be well behind the rest of them, is mind that bird. So down the back stretch run, and join in the dance. An impudent long shot leader here, 50 to one, taking the field through an opening half mile that was strong, 47 and one fifth seconds. Regal Ransom is third. On the outside, Pioneer of the Nile. Now Garrett Gomez asking him for a bit more. He's right there. Third on the outside, Desert Party is now fourth. Hold me back, fifth toward the inside. Papa Clem threads his way through horses from six down. Musket Man is now seven. Chocolate Candy is beginning to come alive now, and he's eighth on the outside. Then down toward the rail, it's advice as the field turns for home. Top of the stretch, it's still joining the dance with a tenuous lead. Regal Ransom and Pioneer of the Nile strike the front just outside the eighth hole. Musket Man is coming hard down the center of the track, and Papa Clem's right there too. Down toward the inside, coming on through. That is uh, my net bird now is coming on to take the lead as they come down to the finish. And a spectacular, spectacular upset. My net bird has won the Kentucky Derby. An impossible result here. And a three-way photo for second among Musket Man, Pioneer of the Nile Bo Public Rail. Club. Calvin Bow Rail. They are in the gate Hold for the 10th Breeders' Cup Classic. And they're off. And Bertrando broke alertly, and he is going immediately after the lead. 
Marquetry is away, second and toward the inside, it's Azud. But it is Bertrando who establishes the lead at once. And he goes directly to the rail with the two and a half length lead. And his mate, Marquetry, can seize the lead, second on the outside. Azud up close third, and so is Best Pal. And he's moving through between horses, fourth. And Diazzo is a close fifth on the outside, first time under the line. Miner's Mark is three wide, running in sixth. The Belmont winner, Colonial Affair, is seventh toward the inside. Kiss and Chris is up close to the pace today, only six lengths from the lead. Then farther back, it's Arkong, and Devil is Due is alongside him. Then farther back, it's a break of four lengths to Pleasant Tango. Missionary Ridge is second to last, while his stablemates run one, two. And at the back of the pack is late running Walenda. Solid fractions here, the opening half mile in 46 and four fifth seconds. Bertrando leads the way down the back stretch with his stablemate Marquetry just off his flank. The Azu is up close and eager. He's third on the outside. Toward the rail, it's Azud running in fourth. And the Californian, best pal, laid back in fifth position. Miner's Mark is sixth with a half mile to run. Arkang beginning to hit his best stride. Devil is due is sent four wide as they move into the fire turn. Colonial Affair is only seven lengths from the lead. Then farther back, Pleasant Tango. Kissing Chris has dropped back. Missionary Ridge and Walenda is the trailer. 15 lengths from Bertrando who blazes the way around the fire turn. Marquetry is right there. Diazzo taking his run for the lead as they come to the top of the stretch. Azud is still in with the chance and behind horses. Best pal is only four lengths from the lead. Pleasant Tango is coming hard. Kissing Chris is also right there. Arkang is coming in between horses. And it's still Bertrando with an onslaught of challengers. Here comes Arkang, a huge upset looming here as Arkang comes flying on the outside. And he runs by Bertrando kissing Chris. Here is Arkang to win it in an absolute shocker. He's 99 to 1 in the $3 million classic. And Bertrando, the favorite, is defeated in the final yards. Absolutely shocking and impossible victory, paramutually speaking.